my name is Dr. David Edwards and I serve as the medical director here at Student Health Services on the Texas Tech campus. Proper hydration is essential for normal function and so we want to fill the tank and keep it full so to speak. When we have strong thirst, when we have dry mouth, that means we're already dehydrated and that can be two to three percent of our body weight. Our body is essentially almost 72 percent water. Our brain is 75 percent water. It's hard to believe that. And so when we're down two or three percent, that has major consequences for the way that we think, cognition, mood, our ability to study and retain knowledge. All of those things can be impacted by even just mild dehydration. Start your morning, start one's morning with hydrating. Dark urine is often a sign of mild dehydration. Monitoring urine color helps us to monitor hydration status. And so hydrating first thing in the morning can be very helpful as we fill the tank, so to speak. And then drinking water throughout the day is really critical. The National Academy of Medicine advises that the average man should drink about 13 cups of water a day. The average woman should drink about nine cups of water a day. And that's assuming that they're in relatively cool or air conditioned or temperature controlled environments. So it's key really just to take sips preferably of non-caffeinated fluid because caffeine is a diuretic, alcohol is a powerful diuretic, and so we've got to alert ourselves to the possibility of those two drugs working against us in our effort to stay hydrated. The use of sports beverages containing electrolytes and, and glucose can be very helpful. Other options include adding those flavor packets that are electrolyte based, and those can really be helpful in reducing the risk of heat illness, such as cramping and headaches, especially for people who are exercising greater than an hour outdoors and losing a lot of water in their sweat.